It's not as buoyant, but it still floats. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for It Chapter 2, a horror film that's had probably some of the most anticipation for in a long time. First film really blew me away. I actually really enjoyed the film. The only thing I had to base it on was parts of the TV miniseries that I saw, and I just never found that shit scary. I don't know how people did. I thought that Tim Curry was hilarious, and every time he turned into a monster thing, I thought it was hysterical. So when Georgie gets his arm ripped off by Pennywise in the first five minutes, and I realized that it was rated R, I knew that the first It film was definitely going to be a game changer in terms of how I viewed it. It had a fantastic cast of child actors, and it had a great central theme. It was scary. It had a really good narrative, a great pacing, and it had a very good beginning, middle, and end. The second film is longer. I do enjoy it, just not as much as the first one. Something obviously to talk about at first is the cast. They picked the perfect character actors in terms of the older versions of these kids. You can believe every single one of them. You can even believe the jacked guy was the chubby kid. That's how good these guys replicate what those kids did and they bring them into their own. Bill Hader obviously being fr freaking fantastic, Jessica Chastain being great, McAvoy, hello ladies man, Mr. Old Spice is fantastic as I said, Jack guy. And I did like the guy who played the kid who was the the germaphobic. Another thing I should also mention is I've never read the book because it looks like a damn Bible of its size and I never watched the entirety of that miniseries. At least to say they do do a better job than that miniseries and from what I can remember. However, this movie's funny. I don't know whether it's trying to be funny as much as it is, but there's a lot of humor in it when it's supposed to be scary, I think. I remember being genuinely scared and pretty freaked out in certain sections of it. Parts that come to mind is when Georgie's like, you'll float too, you'll float too, then he gets his head slammed in, when Pennywise comes out of the projection onto the screen, when he uh, is in the tunnel with that kid with the balloon. However, in this one, I think there was maybe one or two parts that really freaked me out. Otherwise, there's a lot of weird CG parts in this movie that really throw me off because it's kind of bad standout bad so with the surprisingly large amount of cg that's in this sequel it kind of really throws you off and it takes you out of what might be scary you know maybe it might be correct to the novel i felt that there were elements that they tried to kind of superimpose onto you to make you feel like you were supposed to be scared by this but be considering the level of intensity and in your faceness and without really using a lot of CG in the first film, I thought it was a little odd that they used so much of it in this film. Immediately, they even actually de-aged the child actors too. Also, the ADR is not that great. You'll notice that, especially when there's a scene where they come into this little bunker thing and I just remember seeing all of their voices are off. It sounds weird. I can see them talking, I can hear their voices, but that's not them talking. Something else about this movie that's kind of a confliction to me is its length. It's almost three hours long, and you do feel kind of exhausted just with how much is coming up on the screen, how much is being given to you, but the pacing still isn't bad. It still retains that really good pacing from the first movie, which I was kind of surprised with. And to be honest, there's stuff missing. There's definitely parts that were either cut out or stuff that wasn't fully established. There's elements with uh, James McAvoy's character that kind of feel a little bit unfulfilled. There's one character in particular who's in this who I have absolutely no fucking clue why they put him in this movie. Some of you may know who I'm talking about. You could have taken him out of the movie and nothing would have changed. As for the ending, it's not as ridiculous as the miniseries. I guess but i wasn't really scared i was laughing again at it but that's what happens when you take on stephen king during his <clears throat> if i'm correct his uh his powder sniffing days because the first part of the book at the first film you can tell he's dabbing a little bit for the second one he full-on put his face into it he tony montana the fucking coke while he was writing this part because it just goes bananas it's entertaining i don't know if it's meant to be scary but I was entertained throughout this film. So in the end, It Chapter 2 is passable. It is a pretty good follow-up in terms of the absolute hype that It Chapter 1 
gave us. Otherwise, I'm going to give it chapter two a four out of seven. I enjoyed this movie. I couldn't say that I would want to sit down and watch it again like the first one. I'd have to really be in the mood. I'd have to kind of feel like wanting to watch it because honestly, I feel the first movie is good from beginning to end and I could just leave it with that. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.